It's a new era of space exploration this weekend. NASA, in collaboration with SpaceX, will launch what is known as Crew-1 tomorrow. This will be the first fully crewed commercial mission to the International Space Station. And I got a chance to talk with a NASA astronaut, Dr. Mike Barrett, to learn about the historic launch. Getting to the, uh, the point of launching Crew-1 comes after many years of working with SpaceX to build this, this new spaceship to carry U.S. and international astronauts to the space station. So years in the making, uh, new hardware, but along with that, new relationships and uh, new trust in, uh, between NASA and a commercial entity, which is really huge for us because it, it means now that the commercial enterprises uh, can deliver services that before really only NASA could provide or oversee. And so this marks the beginning of full operational flights of the SpaceX Dragon and uh, delivering our crew members for the standard tour of duty on board, which is six months of uh, intensive work, science, and uh, maintaining the space station. But it allows NASA to focus its resources more on exploration, which is really NASA's main charter, main mandate, to really open up the solar system. So with SpaceX and uh, soon Boeing, with the Starliner being able to deliver astronauts to and from uh, the space station, it allows us to lean forward towards the moon and towards Mars, expanding outward. And uh, these are things that no one has yet done before, and that is really NASA's mandate. As a space nerd, when I first heard that NASA was sort of going to be bringing in commercial partners years ago, I thought, no, that wait, that's NASA's job. I think astronauts agree, the more space, the better. The more spacecraft, the more people flying, the more infrastructure, the better for us personally, because we believe strongly in human spaceflight, but the better for NASA, because it gives us a lot of options and, and ways to do things. Now, we have always had relationships with commercial partners. NASA doesn't have factories themselves that build spacecraft. We've always had contract uh, relationships, um, but those have been under very strict federal contract mandates and guidelines. Using the commercial world really opens things up for us because they're not necessarily bound by the same federal regulations. They can leverage what commercial entities really do, which is rapid innovation and very agile uh, technology applications. And that is exactly what SpaceX is and exactly what SpaceX does. From your experience, um, what do you think the crew is feeling this morning as they get ready to blast off later tonight? I think these guys feel ready. Uh, I think they feel very confident in their spaceship. Uh, and I think that uh, if, if history rings true, and I know these guys, that the biggest anxiety, if you will, if you can call it anxiety, is, is saying goodbye to your family, because that's just hard. Is there a little bit of jealousy that they get to play with the shiny new object for other astronauts? Yeah. Oh, of course. Uh, you know, I, I can't say, I mean, again, we're brothers and sisters, but we might be a little bit on the competitive side uh, and the envious side. Uh, but more than anything, you know, we try to support each other the absolute best we can. And uh, I certainly will be doing uh, a lot of vicarious sharing of this mission with the guys that I know are flying. Since we did that interview on Friday, they have rescheduled the launch. It's rescheduled to 6.27 p.m. Central Time tomorrow because Tropical Storm Ada actually delayed the arrival of the drone ship that recovers the SpaceX rockets. So uh, everything's related. The launch is still a go, at least we think, now that the drone ship is there. Pretty interesting. You could feel the enthusiasm during that interview, Mike.